Hey everyone, it's Noah, so we're just going to jump right in. First story this week, what the fuck is going on in New Zealand? Kiwis? Lord of the Rings? PS3? One of those is right. For now on, for the foreseeable future, PS3s will no longer be imported into New Zealand. Yep, Sony even confirmed it. So, if you're in New Zealand, get your PS3s now, while you still can. Uh, so, what this really, it, uh, really is, is Sony announced that they're going to stop importing or exporting ps3s to certain regions i'm guessing to move on with the next gen and just make that whole process more common in those regions uh, my words of advice would be uh, i would think new zealand would probably be in the same region as australia so Austra if you know you can make the trip to australia just to get a ps3 and you're that devoted well then more power to you you can do that uh, if you already have a PS3, congratulations, you're done. Considering that also Sony said that they will continue to export uh, titles and some accessories there, but the console itself will not be shipped. That's the main thing, is that the console itself will not be sent to New Zealand anymore. So get them while they're there, because after that, they're gone. Second story is Microsoft recently purchased physics engine developer Havoc. Havoc has made... Oh, shit ton of physics engines for various games including halo assassin's creed call of duty and over 600 other titles so you've probably if you don't know their name you've definitely played a game that they've worked on recently like i just said before bought my microsoft so the good news about this is a another developer has microsoft money woo awesome that means hopefully our games will be getting better but you gotta wonder is microsoft gonna make that force that developer to follow Microsoft's plans rather than their own. How Now, you might be jumping, of course they will, Microsoft does everything like that. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to follow through with this, but they did say, they did state that they will continue to work with the developer to create great gaming experiences and will continue to, li to license Havoc's development tools out to other, de uh, other producers. So it seems like, or it sounds like, they're going to let Havoc have free reign as, you know, as much as a owning company can, and pretty much just fund Havoc, which may work out to be great for us. And it also ensures a more easier workflow for any Microsoft-owned producers working with Havoc. So basically, on the upside and the most likely side, we're going to be getting better games for, with, the, with Havoc engines in them. And on the downside, well, then, you know, it's just Microsoft owning another thing. Between them and Google and Disney, I mean, all entertainment's going to be purchased soon, probably, right? Maybe not us! I don't know. See how big that check is. So, probably huge, right? I mean, crazy. At least, at least three digits. Oh, that's really bad for the camera. At least three digits. There we go. Now you can see my three. That's beautiful. Okay, but that's uh, that's that's pretty much the end of that one. Havoc was bought by Microsoft. Can only lead to better games, and so it doesn't sound like they're pulling the plug on Havoc working with anybody outside of Microsoft. So, yays all around. Hopefully they can stop Destiny from treating your Guardian so fucking bouncy. I don't get how a 300-pound Guardian bounces off each other but that's that's a whole nother issue don't worry about that on to the next thing so our main story tonight is the whole dose x pre-order debacle if you've been following us at all then you remember that back in april when dose x mankind divided was announced pre-orders came flowing in and square enix the producer the developer i should say not producer well i guess they produced it too developer producer the guys who made the game square enix they announced the augment your pre-order bonus or the augment your pre-order program which uh, basically means that instead of going with a traditional pre-order package assigned with every pre-order and ranging up between collector editions, legendary editions, heroic editions, whatever you want to call them, uh, they had it set up to where your pre-order, your first tier got you the game. Second tier unlocked some like skins and some in-game stuff. And then third tier was like concept art, soundtracks, stuff like that. And you're thinking, okay, well what the fuck how do i get to these next tiers is it just you know collector legendary do i just have to pay an extra 20 bucks no they had to get more pre-orders meaning that you had to go get your friends to go pre-order a game that could you know like we've said earlier could be buggy did we say that or was that the last take 
I don't know. I'm the only person here. Who am I asking? Anyway, basically, they're doing this. They're setting up this whole augment your pre-order. The more people you uh, that pre-order the game, the more you get set up. During a time where gamers are curious about games coming out broken and not just broken or not complete or forcing people to buy DLC to get the complete game. It's just, I don't know how anybody in their pre r department didn't see this coming. The, the pre r department uh, just said that really weird and wanted to go over it again. But I mean, really, did they really think that this would go over well? Because it did not. It had a resounding, horrific negative response and they felt it. Boy, did they felt it. Square Enix responded by, uh, of course, canceling the Augment Your Pre-Order campaign, stating, We wanted the program to give you more choices about what you received in terms of pre-order initiatives, because we've seen in the past when we choose the packages ourselves, we split them across regions, it's caused frustration. So at first they kind of come across saying, Hey, we tried to give you what you wanted, and now you're pissed? How dare you? And... You would think, wow, that's kind of an asshole way to come about this. Uh, but, 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 they continue. Quickly notice that this approach created even more frustration than before. Yeah, a lot. Resulting in a resounding amount of negative feedback. We spent a lot of time reading through your comments, which, you know, probably had to go through a few filters and sensors. Uh, working to understand how we can make things right for you. After much thought and reflection, we decided to close the program and make all incentive content available to anyone who purchased the pre-order Death's X Mankind or a Day One Edition. So there you have it. Internet, you've now gotten two things done. Two things. That's, that's impressive work for the internet hordes. You got the Deadpool movie made, and now you got a, an actual major developer to change their pre-order system. Is a new age of internet vigilantism coming? No, I don't think so. But between John Oliver and a few people and the diehard fans pushing for what they love, maybe it'll happen. So there you have it. You're going to get your skins. You're going to get your art book. You're going to get your soundtracks. You're going to get your pre-order, there's only one thing that's not coming out, and it was the last tier, the highest tier, and it was a four-day early release of the game, which is obviously not going to happen now. But, you know, for changing the pre-order to actually a system that makes everybody happy without causing frustration by splitting up the packages, yeah, let's just give everything to everyone. That seems very obvious in and of itself. So, uh, yeah. So, that's it this week. Uh, there's no video because I didn't have the time. And I'm lazy, you know, I fucking, you know, you know, you know, you know, I bitch about it in enough videos. If you don't know, you can go watch another video, but, uh, I'm sure there's one probably, is, is this the right for YouTube? I'm not sure. I think it is. There's probably one over there that you can go watch over there. Uh, maybe it's one of ours, you know, check those out if you want, but yeah, that's all the news. So there's your weekly recap. Maybe next week I find a name for this show. Who knows? But uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Bet it was a good one. So if you uh, want to see some more videos, you can subscribe by clicking in this general area. Right here. Somewhere in here. And if you want to watch another video, you can click in this general area. Do both of my arms. There we go. So this one's subscribe right over here. This one's another video. And you can do both. Now I'm just some jackass waving his arms around at his desk. Bye.